What I got for you today is the Bluetti AC200 Max. It's a solar generator with a 2 kilowatt hour battery, a 2200 watt inverter, and you can charge it with solar panels with the integrated MPPT. Now, it's the most satisfying thing you can do to generate your own electricity, so here we go. First off, let's talk about the design. It's pretty sleek and modern looking with a solid black colored scheme and it's super compact. You have to cram the battery, inverter, MPPT, cooling, everything is in here, which is pretty insane. They didn't have enough space for the AC charger, so that's separate. Hopefully in future versions that can also be integrated. With all the components and especially the 2 kilowatt hour battery, it's on the hefty side. You can still carry it around, but it's certainly no carry on. It might be fine going from the car down to the beach once in a while, but it's advertised as portable, which it is, but take that with a grain of salt. Now let's talk charging. You have three options. You can plug it into the wall and store the energy and use it for a blackout or any other occasion where you need power. Now, the more satisfying way is to add solar panels, 900 watts maximum, and that's two really large panels, and it accepts a voltage up to 145, but you can use a lower voltage if you so wish. However, there is a third way, and that's adding something they call the enhancer, which lets you plug it into the AC port on the side of the Bluetti, and you can add an additional 500 watts of solar panel power. That's 1400 watts of charging power. It would charge this unit up in less than two hours. But all that heat generated has to go somewhere. And that was one of the few downsides I was able to find. The fan kicks in, let's say regularly, and it's quite noisy. With a very heavy load, it's a straight up jet engine. Which I guess is fine. It's unlikely that you pull that level of wattage for any lengthy period of time. But here's the kicker. Even just with the inverter being on and a small load like charging your phone, the fan still kicks in once in a while and it's borderline annoying. So what exactly could you power from this? Well, with some few exceptions, like your oven, dryer and welder, you can basically power anything around the house. A microwave, your computer and a fridge won't be a problem, let alone things like charging your phone, power tool, batteries. They all have a very low wattage required. But again, it will heat one liter of water at 2200 watts, no issues. When it comes to expansion batteries, you can hook up an additional two batteries maximum, either two or three kilowatt hours for an entire system that's six or eight kilowatt hours. On the side you have input for solar panels, AC charger and two expansion batteries. The front is packed with USB ports and 12 volt outlets. Keep in mind that the layout for the AC outlets are different on the US version, but the DC outputs are exactly the same. We also got the touch screen, which I like a lot. It works really well. But it brings me to the next bit of strange behavior, and that's that I can charge this unit. Once I click the button to start it up again, the percentage is down to zero. It's not like the energy isn't there. You can just plug in the charger and charge it for a while and it will recalibrate and the percentage goes up again. But it's just one of those weird experiences I had with this unit. Okay, usability, 10 out of 10. I think Bluetti found a very good balance of battery to inverter power output. You can imagine if they had a much smaller battery, it wouldn't be able to output the 2200 watts from the outlets. And that's what makes this great, because you can power basically any appliance in a normal house. If it didn't have that, I think I would feel like it missed something. The price for this is fluctuating quite a bit, but right now it's set at 2200 euros, and the smaller expansion battery is at 1500. Okay, I hope you found the information useful, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.